following this afternoon. Really sad uh, update here coming out of uh, Temple University as the acting Temple president, Joanne Epps, just 72, has died after collapsing on stage during a campus event. We are getting an update right now from officials. Let's listen right here on Live Now from Fox. I'm working in the bookstore more than 40 years ago to the office of the president. No one was more beloved at our university than Joanne was. She was a personal friend and mentor to so many of us, and she pushed each of us to be the best versions of ourselves that we possibly could be. We will heal and honor Joanne's memory, but I can tell, but I can tell you that that will take some time. I'm going to ask our provost, Greg Mandel, to make some remarks. Thank you, Ken. We are all in. We are all in deep grief and at a loss for words. We grieve for Joanne's family and her friends and our temple community. To know Joanne is to be her friend. And I've had the honor of her friendship since I joined Temple's law faculty in 2007. We've worked together in several different capacities over the years. She's been an extraordinary leader. She's been a mentor for me and many others. She's been a close confidant. So many memories have been going through my mind, my mind this last few hours times we spent working to advance Temple's mission, sharing wonderful stories together about our faculty and our students and our staff and their accomp accomplishments, uh, confronting challenges, and of course, lots of laughter. I and other members of Temple's community were with Joanne this afternoon at an event honoring Charles Bloxham. This is a tragic loss, uh, but we know that Joanne passed away doing something that she loved with her family there and friends and our temple community. President Epps represented the best part of the temple community, devoting nearly 40 years of her life to serving us as my colleague, uh, as Ken said, in many different capacities. Um, we will all get through this. The university is, has a spectacularly strong community, and we will get through this together. Uh, and now I'd like to turn things over to uh, Dr. Del Porto. Thank you. Thanks. Um, obviously, um, from the health system standpoint, we feel this loss uh, very personally. Um, it's, uh, it's, um, it's a sad day for Temple. Um, it sounds like uh, President Epps suffered a sudden event uh, during, uh, a sudden episode during the event, um, was promptly attended to by emergency medical services, um, was transported here uh, to, to the Temple Hospital <coughs> where uh, resuscitation efforts continued, but unfortunately were, were unsuccessful. And um, our heart goes out to, uh, to her family and to the larger Temple family. Um, so thank you. I think that's the way I ask the question. Can you just talk about how you would love for her to be remembered for those who maybe didn't have the pleasure of meeting her or knowing her? What do you want folks who see this to remember about President Epps? I would invite Greg to comment as well, but just the kind heart that she had. Um, she had an amazing ability to be the calming force in troubled waters and pull everyone together and was a pleasure to work for, made every day coming in to work fun and was steering the temple ship in the right direction. And I think it's just a gut punch for all of us right now. And um, it's, 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 it's hard. Yeah, it's, it, uh, 
as Ken said, she was one of the most remarkably caring and compassionate people I have ever known. Uh, countless times when we were dealing with uh, very difficult issues and, 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 and crises, uh, and people would gather, uh, sometimes people who were distraught. And she always began with checking in on how everyone was doing, and she really meant it. I mean, everyone who uh, has met her knows how deeply she cared about every individual. Could you talk a little bit about what happens in the interim in terms of leading the university? And I know this was a transitional time anyway, what it looks like going forward in a new president. Uh, yeah, you know, it, it was. Our board of trustees is meeting tomorrow, uh, and, and uh, they will, of course, uh, put together a plan for us as we manage through this transition. Uh, we have a very strong community, as I mentioned, uh, and we will be able to weather this by working together. Do we know if We would be speculating. We're not aware that President Epps had any issues. How old was she? 72. 72. Yeah. Hey, Greg, I know you had spoken with her about, uh, about her future here, and I know it wasn't long. Can you tell us why she came back? She had wanted to retire from this university. I know, I think she had also, she had, had talking to you about that. Why did she come back? Uh, I I think the answer to why she came back to Temple or, or decided not to retire, I guess is the right way to phrase it. Uh, the reason Joanne didn't retire from Temple as she was scheduled to do at the end of this year was her love of the university, her love of the community. Uh, and so when the board called upon her to serve as the acting president, she stepped into that role uh, and I think did so gladly. Can you talk about just more on that, which is how she's maybe you mentioned the calming force. Obviously, there was a change in leadership. People were calling for, you know, some change, and she stepped in. What was it like since she kind of took the realms and kind of what did that mean to students and to you guys for her stepping in? I, I think there was a collective sigh when um, the board announced that Joanne Epps would be president. I think everyone was thrilled and relieved, quite frankly. Um, and I think over the last six months, you saw the entire university community pull together, despite all the ups and downs that Temple has faced over this time, and everyone was healing, and everyone felt, you know, great about Temple, and happy for Joanne, and, you know, just again, just, I, I can't even... I know it's early, but there are any plans for any other sort of public, um, you know, get-together? I know students, you know, things like that. Is there, is that been talked about yet at all? Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll have a um, vigil tomorrow at, at the Bell Tower at noon. Really just a chance for people to come together and be together and, and heal as best they can. And other plans will be coming out, I assume, over the next week or so. This happened, unfortunately, in a public event during a, a live web stream. Can you put into uh, words, if, if, if you were there, uh, what the room was like and how do you, what are you telling those people? Or, or do people need counseling seeing a traumatic event like that? Uh, of course, counseling is being made available, available to folks. Um, I'd rather not dwell on, on the actual event. Can you guys just say it's by your names again for us? Uh, Ken Kaiser. K-A-I-S-E-R. Any title? Uh, Senior Vice President, Chief Operating Officer. All right, Temple University officials coming together on the loss of the acting Temple uh, president, uh, Joanne Epps, 72 years uh, of age, uh, died today at a campus event there. And uh, you are hearing from the officials there just moments ago talking about the life and legacy of Joanne and uh, the, the lasting impact that she has made at Temple, again, uh, passing away at the age of 72 dying on stage at a campus event.